Hello, and welcome to Unpublishable, the uh, possibly what will be the first episode of our podcast where we read the worst of the worst, just the absolute most terrible pieces oh, of shit in the realm of fiction that the internet has to offer. Uh, I'm Tom, I will be the narrator, and I'm also our resident writer, so I'll, I'll add snotty uh, technical critiques here and there. I'm Matt. Matt. I'm, I'm the victim. Uh, I have to listen to these awful stories that Tom's going to launch in my direction. <laughs> uh, so, without further ado, here we go. Alrighty. Alrighty, right. Have you got so, up for me first? Yes. What we have is the spectacularly titled My Immortal. Oh, boy. The description I've got here is the infamous worst fan fiction ever. Posted here, unedited for your lols. Originally by Super Tard Tara Gillespie. Oh boy. So hang on, is the blurb of the book the worst fan fiction ever written? Yeah. Not okay. by the author. Oh, I was but, gonna uh, say. That's, yeah. that's that's a bit self This is by someone yeah, this is by someone who is reposting it because I believe on the website where it was originally posted, she was eventually just blocked and deleted because <laughs> it was so bad. Out with a bang. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And also People to this day are not sure whether or not this whole thing is a troll. Oh, boy. Because at times, it just seems so perfectly inept. You know what I mean? Like, Mr. Bean. Like, oh, this God. is the Mr. Bean of literature. He doesn't He doesn't actually talk, so... That's, in... that's a fair point, yeah. It's hard to tell whether he knows much language, and that's the same for our author. He, does... <laughs> he doesn't actually talk, and this person doesn't actually write. I get it. Pretty much, pretty All much. Right. All right, and... take me away, Johnny. Well, just before I begin, okay, to yep. be clear, you, you don't know anything about this, do you? No, I know the title, and yeah, I'm going to you... guess, I know it's an Evanescence song, and that's the only well, references to it I have. I'm assuming yeah, they're not related. You don't related. even know what this is a fan fiction of, essentially. No. That's, that's the best bit. Are they unrelated, or is that a spoiler? Well, I learned well, it due time. They're pretty, they're pretty fucking unrelated, let me tell you. <laughs> okay, so, so it's just, just by title alone. <laughs> um... No, 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 there's plenty of references. It's just Evanescence and the original text from which this fanfiction is derived are, uh, if not completely unrelated, then pretty close to unrelated. Okay. That's, that's what we're dealing with. All right. So this, this story has frequent author notes. So I'll, yep. I'll read those in a relatively normal voice, even though they have even worse spelling errors in the actual story. Okay. Um, I'm because... going to warn you now, I may burst out into Evanescence lyrics. That's just a sign. Yeah. Of yeah, I'm aware. Awful stories. <laughs> I'm aware that this may happen, especially in this story. Okay. Okay, let's All go. Right. Let's fucking go. Take me. Chapter take me on a journey. One. Chapter one. We begin with an author's note. Okay. Special fangs. Oh. Get it? Because I'm oh. gothic. To my girlfriend. Ew, not in that way. Oh, Raven. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Special. So they misspelled thanks. That was meant to be thanks instead of fangs. Well, it's fangs because the character is a vampire. Oh God. Spoilers. Yeah. So this, this is still this is still the first dozen words. Okay, sorry. Please continue. <laughs> Special thanks to my girlfriend. Not in that way. Raven. Bloody what tears. Six six six. Well, not in the girlfriend way. Like they're just oh. friends. Yeah. Oh. For helping me with the story and spelling. You rock. Justin, you're the love of my depressing life. You rock too. MCR rocks. <laughs> oh, what? MCR. Oh, of course, my chemical romance. My chemical yep. Romance. This is yep. the late nineties. It, Taking it's me not back the late nineties. This was, <laughs> I think, this was written in in two thousand and six or so. Oh boy, yeah, the height of MCR popularity. So, so that's the author's note to to start things off. Okay. Oh god. And now we begin with the actual story. Take me away. Hi, my name is Ebony Darkness Dementia Raven Way. <laughs> <laughs> oh god! Please tell me you made that up. I. I, I could not make this up if I tried. <laughs> okay. okay, so that was Ebony Darkness Dimension Way, is that right? Raven Way. Raven, oh, sorry, Raven, my mistake. I forgot the Raven name. Hyphen. Fifth name. Uh, sorry, yeah, I miscounted. Wait, Ebony Darkness Dementia Raven Way. That Raven is a fourth name. I don't blame you for miscounting because five <laughs> is too many. Five is too many of anything. My name is Spoon Cheese Apple Legs Helmet. Yeah, that's great. That's, that's 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 as sensible. <laughs> I could write anyway, fiction. Sorry. And uh, yeah, you could. And I have long ebony black hair. That's two ebony's in one sentence. It's more um, ebony's than it needs to be. You ain't story. you ain't fucking seen nothing yet, son. Oh, 
God damn it. There's also frequent brackets in, in the text, you know? And it's it's hard to know how to pronounce any of this shit. You know, like, with a well-written sentence, you know how to say it, because yeah. it comes with natural pauses and, and uh, clauses and, and discrete parts that that relate to each other. This just goes. You know what I mean? Yeah. This is like this is like the bust in speed. <laughs> it's like the writer it's was so the rules. Was so just they just wanted to get what was in them out on the paper. Yeah, yeah. They just it's, didn't have time to stop and it's punctuate. Vomit. It's vomit. It's, okay. It's vomit. And someone's already spell checked this. Yes. But eel not in that way. <laughs> Allegedly. Okay. Not in that way. Let's Okay, I'm going to go back from the start and let's 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 okay, shotgun sorry. through at least a couple sentences. Okay. Hi, my name is Ebony Darkness Dementia Ravenway, and I have long ebony black hair. That's how I got my name. With purple streaks and red tips that reaches what? my back and icy blue eyes like limpid tears. And a lot of people tell me I look like Amy Lee. Author's note, if you don't know who she is, get the hell out of here. Who's Amy That's, Lee? Sorry. Even, so we should be getting the hell out of here. Okay. Let no, me just sorry, no, let's, let's yeah. leave. We've been told to leave. That's Let's true. leave it there. Told to leave. But before we leave, I'd like to point out that that was the first sentence. Oh, God. I have one issue with it. She was <laughs> she's named one. Ebony when she was born, right? She was named for her hair. Yeah. I didn't know babies were born with long, flowing ebony hair. Well, well, some are born with hair, but it's frequently not the same color that the hair ends up being. Nor long or flowing. Nor long or flowing. But ebony doesn't mean long or flowing. Ebony just means black. So she could have been born with a little fuzz of, of dark hair. Okay. Or, what's far more likely is, this is not her birth name. Ah, okay. It's a given name. Just checking. Awesome. Yeah, yeah. Her father... Really next. Really next upset. sentence. Next sentence. I'm not related to Gerard Way. I don't even know who that is. But I wish I was because he's a major fucking hottie. Oh. Hang I'm on. What? Wait. What? If she was related to him... And oh yeah, he picked up on that. Yeah, That's yeah. It's a she little bit of incest. Play someone whom she finds attractive, um, and that's not even really explained. Okay. <laughs> that's, that's in the subtext. Okay. Subtext: incest. <laughs> I'm a vampire, but my teeth are straight and white. I have pale white skin. I'm also a witch. Now, <laughs> before we go any further, <laughs> she's also the fucking what, the lion, the witch, and the wardrobe. What is this set in? Okay. Um, I've got it. I've got it. I've yeah, got it. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Wizard of Oz. You wish. <laughs> I'm also, don't say another word. I'm also a witch, and I go to a magic school called Hogwarts, oh my England, God. where I'm in the seventh year. I'm 17. I'm a goth, in case you couldn't tell, and I wear mostly black. I love Hot Topic, and I buy all my clothes from there. For example, for example, today I was wearing a black corset with matching lace around it and a black leather miniskirt, pink fishnets, and black combat boots. I was wearing black lipstick, white foundation, black eyeliner, and red eye shadow. I was walking outside Hogwarts. It was snowing and raining, so there was no sun, which I was very happy about. Poo-poo a lot of preps their, uh... stared at me. I put my middle finger up at them. Poo-poo on their uh, uniform policy there. And um, also, it's the raining and snowing. And raining and snowing. Fucking that, that's our first paragraph. That is that is the world building, which okay. which has it's... been established thus far. Hogwarts, really? It's this is a fucking Harry Potter fan. All right, I'm calling it now. She's in Slytherin. <laughs> you don't even know how hard she's in Slytherin. Okay. I don't even. <laughs> not know. only not only is she in Slytherin, everyone's in Slytherin. <laughs> oh God. Uh... <laughs> um. Are you ready to keep going, or do you have more comments? No, I'm sorry. I'll withhold my comments. All right. I'd like to point out that half of the opening paragraph was about what clothes she was wearing that day, mm. which, is, which sets a trend. That's more detail than there's been in any part of the story so far, is once you put <laughs> exactly. fucking hot topic. Exactly. That's more, like, yeah. It's just more so detail she, than the rest wandering of the around. She's wandering around. That's I guess more detail than a magic castle. I know what she's wearing better than I know where she is in the magic fucking castle of Harry Potter. There's more detail in that paragraph about her clothes than in the entire Harry Potter franchise about Hogwarts Castle. Yeah, and Hogwarts clothes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's, well, they're, they're very inconsistent with that in the films, at least. Um, so, yeah, she's walking around, mm-hmm. sticking her middle finger up at the preps who are staring at it. The preppy fucking wizards. 
Yeah. Which ones are preps? Are they the first ones or the last ones? No, no, no. She means preps in the sense of people who aren't goths. Preps. You need to understand that definition because that's going to come up a lot. Preps, preps. are people who don't wear black eyeliner and black lipstick. Where does the term black... prep come from? Uh, prepared? Prepared uh, for life? Prepared I mean, to have a future? Probably not what she means, but that's what that's what it means. <laughs> prepared? <laughs> okay, um, sorry. I, I, I don't even... I, I'm sorry, I don't know what it's short for. It may not be short for anything, for all I know. Okay. Just think of... It means... It's a derogatory term for normies, you know? Like, everyone who's not gothic is such a prep, you know? Like, such a poser. Okay. That Cops kind of thing. Poses. All right, anyway. Yeah. Okay. Whisk me away. Okay. Hey, Ebony, shouted a voice. I looked up. It was Draco Malfoy. Oh, who would have called it? What's up, Draco? I asked. Nothing, he said shyly. But then I heard my friends call me, and I had to go away. Oh. End of chapter one. She had to go away. Like, go away to where? <laughs> Just it's unclear. Leave, leave the general vicinity of Draco. She had Malfoy. to go away. She had to go elsewhere, because her friends called her. All of her Stop, friends. Draco. She's so popular. Nothing. <laughs> and that is the end of chapter one. Okay, all right. Um, Author's note, is it good? Please tell me fangs again. And now you get that that thanks misspelling because she's a vampire. She's Ebony Darkness Dementia Raven Way. Were there vampires in Harry Potter? Yes, there were. None that had speaking roles, but they were mentioned. Okay. But it also, they never said that any went to Hogwarts. I don't know what the situation was there. Okay. There might have been some social stigma, like how people didn't like Lupin once everyone found out he was a werewolf, maybe. Yeah. But he was a nice guy who just occasionally grew hair. He was a nice guy. He didn't give himself five names and <laughs> finger people. Ebony Darkness Wheat Picks Way. Yeah. <laughs> Wheat Picks Way. Yeah. Yeah. So, so chapter two, author's note. Thanks to her girl, Bloody Tears 666, for helping me with the chapter. By the way, perhaps stop flaming my story, okay? <clears throat> <laughs> the next day I woke up in my bedroom. It yeah. was snowing and raining. Again. Oh, again. Yeah. Again, I opened the door of my coffin and drank some blood from a bottle. Oh, of fuck <laughs> off! No. Okay. My coffin, my coffin was black ebony, and inside it was hot pink velvet with black lace on the ends. Um, I just want to point out, black ebony. Did she just pull ebony. her clothes from the coffin? I think she has. I think she has like a. A colour dartboard. I mean, I think she has a coloured dartboard, and every time she's got to describe something, she just throws darts and goes, okay, black, red, pink, black, red, pink. No, there's no red. It's just black and pink. No, no, no. Before... Uh, oh, did she not mention red before? Nah. Uh, no, red eyeshadow. Spoilers! Red eye... No, before. In the first ah, okay. Yeah. Red eyeshadow she was wearing. She's yeah. going to wear more clothes from Hot Topic, was it? Where she gets Yeah, Hot Topic. Yep. Hot Topic. Okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, That's That's... That's... That's the lifeblood of the vampire goth uh, demographic. Hot fucking topic. All right. So, yeah, the coffin was black and pink and shit. Yeah. I got out of my coffin and took off my... It's old, but I took off my giant MCR t-shirt, which I use for pajamas. Instead, I put on a black leather dress, a oh. pentagram necklace, oh. combat boots, oh. and black fishnets on. That's oh. two ones. I put on four pairs of earrings in my pierced ears and put my hair in a kind of messy bun. You know, I was feeling kind of sort of half reconstructed. You know what I mean? Are you, you making the, the half reconstructed thing? I'm sorry, yeah, that was me. That was okay, me. good. Thank God, because <laughs> that's too much literature for this story. <laughs> that would be. I, seriously, that's so much detail in what she's fucking wearing. I want to know oh, about yeah. the coffin. Tell me more about the drinking blood. Yeah. Um, she just had a bottle. <laughs> that's all we know about that. 